This reminds me of the cup final four years ago. After a match that lived up to everybody's expectations, the Galactic Football Cup was won by the Lightning, who were led by the phenomenal Warren. At the end of every cup, the trophy is filled with the winning team's flux and sent out to do a grand tour of the galaxy and shine the champion team's colors in the sky of every planet. We are thrilled to see it come back to where its voyage began. It will land in the stadium the same day as the final where the Shadows will be playing the Snow Kids at the very instant that one of the two teams wins. I have the honor of standing between the coaches of the two teams in the final, Arch and Artegor Nexus. Well, gentlemen, I can only imagine how you feel as the cup makes its way toward Genesis Stadium. This is the first time I've seen the Cup live, and it really is impressive. It'll be even more impressive when the Cup leaves with the shadows' colors. You started out as partners, and now you're rivals. Is this situation awkward for either of you? We just happen to end up on opposing teams. That's the way things go in sports. Winning the Cup is all that counts today. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Mr. Nexus, let's turn for a moment to the us astounding discovery made during the semi-final. Arch revealed that the Cyclops players were trying to cheat. Do you feel like someone owes you something? Absolutely not. If the League wants to give him a medal, fine. I'm more concerned about the cup. How about you, Arch? How do your players feel now? My team is training hard and looking forward to the match with complete calm. Aren't they paralyzed by what's at stake? As we can see on the screen, Arch, your goalkeeper, Ahito, wasn't always very awake. <laughs> yes, Ahito has this little habit of falling asleep in the net. But as long as he can block kicks as expertly as he did in our last match, he deserves a little rest every now and again. <laughs> That's exactly my point. Aren't your players exhausted? The road they've traveled so far is the stuff of dreams, and they've met some of the biggest names in galactic football. But some people are wondering if the Snow Kids haven't accomplished everything they're capable of already. When you think about what horribly bad shape they were in during the first period of the match against Technoid, couldn't one say that that's a sign of even worse things to come? In other words, Arch, will the Snow Kids be able to last until the end? Don't you worry that they'll blow up in mid-flight, so to speak? I think it's important for me to explain something about the Snow Kids' poor performance during that first half. So thank you for bringing it up, Callie. My players were about to blow up before that match. The breath was becoming a bad thing for them. I had the same experience myself with the smog. The flux must not be stronger than the love of the game, and that is what some of my players had lost. That's why I asked them to make every effort not to play with the breath, and they took my advice. If I may, Arch, if that was your strategy, it was really unusual. If the breath hadn't reappeared, you wouldn't have been able to come back and score. The breath did reappear because my players deserved it. It was a challenge of a sort. That challenge it was a gamble and a coach that plays dice with his players doesn't deserve to win i respect my players artegor and at least i never poached any of mine from other teams you're referring to sined of course he was a snow kid when the competition started what happened sined understood early on that he wouldn't go very far without a coach who would let him develop his potential Sinead has talent, that much I know, but he has to learn to acknowledge his mistakes. What do you mean? Sinead takes the game too personally. He tends to mistake boldness for aggression. Sinead's style is indeed rather, shall we say, um, intense. As we can see in these images, he's not particularly gentle on the field, but I think we can all agree that he knows how to put on a show. Anyway, Artego, Sinead is sort of your protege. However, the other Shadow players have more experience than he does. So my question is, how do you make sure that there's harmony among your players? Simple. The answer is Smog. With Smog, my team is a goal-scoring machine. But I didn't come here to give away my training secrets. You are a secretive man, Artegor. We have very few images from your players' training sessions. Turning to you, Arch, would you like to tell us a little about the makeup of your... Gladly. All the players that I selected already had their own individual talents. Rocket, the captain, is a terrific passer. He's sort of the team's conductor on the field. And we have some very good people on defense, like May, who does a fantastic job. And that doesn't stop her from surprising us when she needs to. I already mentioned Ahito and the gold. Having his brother Thran on defense gives us a reliable safety net. 
Tia has impressed us all from day one. She was the first one to use the breath. But there was a real danger that we were relying on her too much. Yes, I remember that she was the target of many an attack. Your opponents aren't fooling themselves. They know the threat that she poses to them. Oh, that's why Jock is so important. He had to learn how to frame his shots. But apart from experience, he really wasn't lacking much else. Is he lacking experience with success as well? Is Jock letting fame go to his head? I'm not going to answer that question. Each player has to learn how to handle pressure. All I can say is that today, Jock is at the top of his abilities. The team is united, and each player has his or her place. Micro Ice, too? Ha ha ha! Especially Micro Ice. His sense of improvisation has gotten us out of situations that we thought were hopeless. Believe you me, Micro Ice knows how to get things moving. Too bad it's always in the wrong direction. In any event, this is the first time that a team from Achillean has made it to this level. But the players trained by Arch will be facing opponents who are raring for a fight. This will be one of the great moments of the Galactic Football Cup, and there have been lots of them already. Let's watch a few right now. of trophies who will triumph over the other claimants to the title gentlemen part of the answers to these questions is in your hands thank you for being with us for this special program dedicated to the semi-finals of the galactic football cup thank you kelly come on boys you know this combination by heart so give it some oomph over to you, Jock. Jock, you've missed that frame three times. Three times. What is up with you? Now, now, let's not get upset. We only need to fix a few things, then everything will be just fine. Jock, is there a problem? I'm fine. I'm just a little tired these days. Yeah, well, don't forget to wake up for the final. It's only three days away. And like you've said many times, it's your destiny to win it. Jock, he's been released. The exchange has taken place. What do the Snow Kids have lined up? There's a big party this evening with their parents. They just left to pick them up at the Astroport. Excellent. Now's our chance to get in contact with Jock. 
It's now or never. Flight 911A from Achillean will be landing at gate A. Passengers are reminded that they must first go through customs. There they are. Mom! Microwise, it's been so long! Hey, my baby! Tia, my sweetheart! Stella, you're here! Of course! Mate, I can't Honey, you, you made it that fun! Oh, Jock, I'm so happy to see you again. Are you all right? Please tell me you're all right. Of course I'm all right. Why are you asking me that? I don't know. I had this strange premonition that you were in danger. Maya, being a medium just isn't your thing. I'm okay, I promise you. If you say so, dear. What are they doing? Did they get lost? Tia, I don't know how to tell you this. Your parents have been on Genesis for five days. They've huh? been working at the protocol office. What? Why didn't they tell me? Maybe they didn't want to disturb you. Yeah, that's it. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry for you. This can't be! Daddy! Zolin! Alcarine! I miss you so here. much! And I miss you too. Are you the ones who helped them get here? Thank you. You've no idea how happy you've made me. Allow me to introduce my wife, Alcarine, and my daughter, Zolin. Zolin, you're... you're really pretty. Honey, wait till you see how much fun we're going to have. She is so beautiful. I didn't make too big of a fool of myself, did I? To be perfectly honest, micro -Eye. Okay, stop right there. I don't want to know. If something was worrying you, you'd tell me, right? You look so pale. I'm going to throw a little water on my face. Then I'll rejoin you. My name is Corso. I'm a friend of your father. Leave me alone! I know that Blaylock exchanged you for Sonny. I don't have anything you want! We're on the same side, boy. There's nothing you can do for him. You know where he is? No. They took him away. I don't know where, but I can assure you, I'm the only one who can save him. We'll find him, with or without you. Whatever Blaylock asked you to do, don't do it. That man is dangerous. He'll kill your father, no matter what happens. Hello, young man. What can we do for you? Hi. I don't think we've met. I'm Rocket, captain of the Snow Kids. There's a party this evening at our hotel, with all our parents. What a wonderful idea. Unfortunately, we have a very important diplomatic meeting this evening, but it was still very kind of you to invite us. It would make your daughter, Tia, very happy. Do you remember Tia? Your daughter? I don't like your tone of voice at all, young man. We've been running ourselves ragged for years, trying to bring Achillean back to life and make it prosper. This means making some sacrifices. There are some things that should never be sacrificed. Whether you like it or not, your daughter has done more for Achillean in a few matches than you have during your whole career. She needs you. Don't ever forget that. What brings you here? I'm here because of the Metaflux. Sunny Blackbones and Clamp have managed to synthesize it, but they haven't had time to contain it. What? Metaflux? What you said? I couldn't talk about it last time. I'm convinced that there's a mole in the Flux Society, and that mole is supplying Blaylock with information. Are you sure? I'm certain, O oh Great Simbra. And that's only the beginning. Duke Maddox, I've lost all trace of Sunny and the Metaflux. This is most distressing. 
How deeply is Blaylock involved in this matter? That cursed Blaylock has been conspiring behind my back for years. But you're the chief executive of Technoid. Couldn't you... Blaylock is a prominent member of our organization. I need concrete proof against him. We'll have it soon. He can't remain hidden for much longer. He'll have to act and take some risks. Yes, but we are at his mercy until then. And I don't like that at all. Come in! Are we bothering you, Rocket? Can you spare five minutes to talk? Rocket, Kira and I have decided to start all over again. To be the family we should have been all this time. Would that make you happy? <clears throat> well, there it is. We said it. We'll let you work, and we'll see you this evening. So. This is all happening thanks to you, Rocket. you supposed to have left Genesis Stadium with Sonny and the Metaflux? There were a few complications. Where is the Metaflux? It's in Blaylock's hands now, just like Sonny. This is a catastrophe! That's not all. Jock is involved, but he's pretending not to know anything. As far as anyone can see, Blaylock is putting pressure on him. Jock? But why? Because Blaylock is using him as a bargaining chip to get the Metaflux back. Clamp, Jock is Sonny's son. His son? There's no time to explain, Clamp. I'm just asking you to keep your eyes open. Let us know if you notice anything strange in Jock's behavior. Good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to thank all of you for showing up this evening, especially the parents of our players. Thanks also to the other training staff, Dame Simbai, Professor Clamp, and Jado, who have helped bring victory within our reach. And I'd especially like to thank the ones who made this fantastic adventure possible, the Snow Kids. And now, let the party begin! Hooray for the Snow Kids! Adim, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be with the league officials? No, I'd rather be with you and your players. <laughs> All right, do you understand? Yes, yes. I relax, I offer her a drink, I compliment her. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I'm not going to succeed. Look! There's your mother. Now we'll see if you remember what I taught you. There you are, dear. Look, I just landed some more contracts. There are two photo sessions and a spot for... Mom, listen. I'm not doing them. What? Don't you realize what this means? Think of your career. Right. I am thinking of it, and no one else is going to do that for me. Not even you, Mom. I'm a football player, not a supermodel. Um, hello, Zoline. Um, do... do you want something to drink? How nice. Yay! Thank you. I must be dreaming. I must be dreaming. Whoa! <laughs> I must be having a nightmare. I must be having a nightmare. Here, let me help you. I'm such a klutz. I don't think so. Thanks. You're so cool. Dad, Mom, what are you doing here? We realize that we haven't really been there for you during your competition, but it wasn't because we weren't thinking of you. Well, yes, it was a little. Your captain taught us a lesson, Tia. We'll never do it again. My captain? You mean that Rocket came to see you? Yes, and I can tell you that that young man's got spunk. I'll be right back. What's going on, Jock? You haven't said a word all evening. I don't feel like talking, that's all. Not even with me? Are you nuts? You pushed her aside like she was Sened. Don't you realize she's in love with you? May's in love with me? 
Just because you're so focused on the final doesn't mean you have to push everyone away. Especially the people you care about. I'm sorry, but... Huh? What's eating him? This final will be the perfect occasion to see the two most promising attackers in the competition go head-to-head. -head. Sinead for the Shadows and Jock for the Snow Kids. The two revelations of the cup. The two newest jewels of galactic football. Let's hear what Sinead has to say about his opponent. Jock? Ha-ha! <laughs> Everyone knows I'm much better than him. Much better. He's probably the only one who doesn't think so. If you want to see your father ever again, you'll have to do a little something for me. It's your choice. <laughs>